You're listening to the gag on this podcast. <laughs> I mean, like, we got three minutes. I already started recording, so. Tough titty. Um, boy, this is a horrible way to start. It's just so <laughs> lackluster. Um, yeah, wait, right, can you guys hear me fine with the... Yeah. Good, cool. Are those the AirPods? AirPod Pros. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So what, that cost you an extra $50 for the Pro? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I bought them a while ago when they first came out. They, yeah, no, I, I still live in my grandmother's. It's, it doesn't matter, but, <laughs> but yes, they were pretty expensive. All righty. This is the gag on this podcast episode description as show and guest social media, subscribe to our YouTube page here. The episode two days before it is released, like, and follow us on social media at gag on this underscore pod. I am big Nick. I am joined by nationally traveling comedian, the Italian stallion. David's interrupting my goddamn intro, Danny D. Hey. <laughs> uh, we got co-host of the Stand Up Dads podcast and my Portuguese lover, Rob. Hello. Who just released his 100th episode with Keith Lowell Jensen. That was a good one. Woohoo! Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, Sharon, he will be here probably. Danielle just <laughs> lost her video again. I can't with this woman. There, there she go. is. Really? <laughs> uh, but Sharon is the host of the Iambic Poetry Podcast. He is DJ for Comedy on the Rocks, and he is the Sacramento Poet Laureate. And we got, I think that's everybody, right? Did I get everybody? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, we got the hilarious Marcus Peveril. Hey, howdy how's everyone doing today we are doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Danny, i'm not italian dad. or puerto rican you're not what are you then no nah, i don't know uh <laughs> no i'm i'm half i'm half i'm a little mud blood dude i'm, I'm half white and half mud mexican blood. yeah <laughs> what uh let me guess the white irish uh english I don't I know. I mean, that's the same fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I do, I do drink a lot, so maybe. <laughs> I believe the term yeah. would be mestizo. Be mestizo? Just, no, mestizo. What the fuck is that? Half native, half white. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, if Wait you to, don't know, I don't. Sure. <laughs> Way to fucking interject with that. Way to bring it down, buddy. Instead like of mud blood, thing. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think the Mexican part's the mud, but we're all having fun. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm so glad you came on. I'm glad Danny could get you because I actually saw you perform at a um, – Danny, who, what was Shana's thing? She's on mute. Is that, what is that? Uh, stay silly, silly Shana's – yeah, Stay Silly. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, I oh, saw cool. you perform at, uh, at Blacktop, actually. Oh God! And that's what you thought was good. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> he's he's been in he's been in love with you ever since. Oh, thanks, man. I, I I think you were the only one that loved me that night. I'm pretty sure it was. I think I was hosting. <laughs> yeah, I was complete garbage. Yeah. Were you? But you I thought pre- so? I appreciate it. Oh, baby girl, I know so. I have the recording to prove it. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. No. Yeah. Those that sh- those shows are always really cool. Um. I like I like the the punchline one that she did. The blacktop one hurt though. I remember that. I think I was like super hungover because we just got back from, I think Humboldt, and Humboldt you just do drugs. That's all you do. So I did drugs and I did shows, and then uh, I didn't sleep for like twenty four hours straight. And then we were like, oh yeah, we also got a sack uh, today. And I was like, well, you know, it'd be a great idea is to just continue to drink and not sleep at all in the car ride home. So then I'm pitch perfect for the night show. And then I hosted it. And then I, I felt like I ate a bag of coochie, not the good kind. Yeah. It usually not feels good pretty kind. good. Usually does, especially with the flavor saver I got now. 
Yeah, what made you what made you trim it? Because all the pics on social media I saw, I thought you'd be coming in with a uh, stash, yeah. man. I was, I was, but then like, because I wear a mask at work all the time, and like, it, it would all, it, it would just, it stinks. Huh? <laughs> no, uh, no, it's just, it's gr- like it, it would pull on the mask, and like, it would just. When I woke up in the morning, it'd be all like that, like it feel weird. I didn't like it, so I just kind of trimmed it. It's it's growing back pretty good though, but Wait, I just want to get that that. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, I just want to get the the twirl going. I like the twirl. It makes like me feel David? like a man. You have to yeah. constantly touch your mustache. That's how he gets no, it. Like yeah. he's constantly like. Yeah, because I want I want it natural. <laughs> I don't want to be a douche that uses like gel or something. Oh, he does. He uses um, like beer. I mean, I, I I didn't mean to say douche. Then, just kidding. <laughs> he knows he is, but like, if you don't do it that way, it's not going to be natural. Like, you have to. You gotta. Yeah, yeah. But then it gets all greasy, and then I get yeah. pimples, and then and then Ugh. yeah, and, yeah. And then you know, just shave yeah. it. Just shave it. Come in. Maybe. Maybe. Oh is yeah. My no, doorbell. I ordered pizza. I, I, oh. I ordered pizza. Yeah. <laughs> you want? Do you need to go get that? Nah. <laughs> Your grandma will get it. For that. Let let the let the women take care of that, guys. Wow, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hey. blood, let the women take care of it. Which is hilarious, Rob. Sorry. You don't know this, but in the background, he's watching uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Sweet. So I'm very progressive. Yeah, I'm very Fuck progressive. Yeah. Trannies are way better now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. No, oh, that's you like have legit. To act I'm like you got kidding. fooled now. What season are you on? Oh yeah. Well, I'm not really watching it. Uh, it's oh. my girlfriend. She's watching it. Um, yeah. It's our five months today. And she said, I said, we can do whatever you want. And then she said, um, it's let's watch. Dra- let's watch. Yeah, let's watch. Yeah, it's five months. And then uh, she said, let's watch RuPaul season six and get a and get a Mountain Mike's pizza. And I said, you know what, babe? Sounds pretty fucking hot and heavy to me. <laughs> yeah. Go so, for it. Yeah. Uh, yes. so basically have, what I'm, yeah. I was going to say, since you have a girlfriend, you talked about zits. Is she one of the girls that likes popping zits too? Ew. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> uh, okay. So, okay. So I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I don't use enough lotion, but my back gets really itchy all the time. This isn't going to get too crass, but like I had like a pimple on my back and then she just like popped it without me knowing it, but I liked it. So I think we're both into it. I think that's like, cause I can't, cause I can't see it. I can't see it. So it's fine. You if liked I was it because it was see, a like, relief or you liked it cause it got you off. <laughs> I, 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 I went, it, it wasn't just the white pus that came out my back. It was also the cum that was dripping down my pants. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. No king. Hey, everybody's but, got a thing. Everybody's got a thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but basically, since this real Paul thing and this cheese pizza thing, I think that it's time for a good pegging. She's been wanting to peg me for a while. Wow, it's been five months. Uh, we don't know. We don't know what's going to respect a man now. after you peg him. If you want her to respect uh, you, don't let her peg you. <laughs> she still, you know what? I'm okay with that. Maybe that's my thing. Maybe I don't want to be respected. I think that's. It. Or maybe he just I do wants con- out. <laughs> <laughs> I just want out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you fuck my ass, will you please leave me? No. <laughs> nice. So, um, I'm curious yeah. are you are you officially part of the deaf puppies? Because I see a lot of pictures. No. Of <laughs> no, no. I no, like that's their own thing. I came because I started. I think I've been saying three years, but it might be four. But I'm pretty sure it's three. I just can't remember. Oh, oh thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, but uh. It, but I, yeah, no, this, this was not a bit that I was trying. I did not plan to get served pizza and wear this shitty. Shirt. All right, it's not, I'm, I'm, you could get, you could, you guys could just call me a hack and then everyone will be okay. Um, I, I just, I just, I just hang out. I just hang out with them all the time. Like Taylor Evans is like one of my best friends and uh, like Anthony K, Chris Shara, Jason Soam, Andre, um, AJ, they're all they're all fucking awesome. They're all hella cool, and I just like it. Connor Martin. He's also one of my best friends. I love that guy. Um, but yeah, uh, we all just hang out all the time, and they started that like way before I even came into the picture. And um, I just like hanging out with them. I just, I'm just a two o nine boy. Yeah, I got two o nine in my soul. I get it. 
Yeah, they said that they all had to take uh, take uh, turns uh, banging me if I wanted to be in a part of it. It's not it's it's not a game. It's not a it's not a it's not a beating of initiation. It's a it's an orgy, and I, I just wasn't really into it. Mm-hmm. it. But you know who knows that that begs the question: Who would you want banging you, and who would you want Connor, Connor Martin? Okay. Dude, are, have you seen his Connor. hair? Yeah, <laughs> Connor's for sure the sexiest step up. Yeah, for he sure. looks like he's a he's Jesus that does magic. Yeah, he's Jesus yeah. that does magic. All right, I'm really yeah, sad Jesus that I have to leave magic. to go support my dreams with the open mic, but uh, I gotta go. Bye, Marcus. It's sick. Sean Grady's Bye. here. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll sign in from my uh, phone, but it probably won't be as good. No, don't fucking Bye. do that. <laughs> Right. Like how she didn't even, bitches. Le- okay. yeah. Like how she didn't even fucking let me finish. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you never had a problem with that before. No, it's it's, hey, too, oh. it's too soon. That's mm. the issue. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, Connor Martin for sure, uh, banging him, hundred percent. And then the one I wouldn't want to bang is Andre, and. It doesn't really? have anything to do with not because he's black, guys. Don't think that. Uh, it's because he's married happily, and I wouldn't want to be a homewrecker. Oh, okay. that's so sweet. You think you'd have that oh, much yeah. pull, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, listen, you want another PS5 or not? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you uh, hear about the guy who had to return his PS5 or sell it at a very cheap mm-hmm. price? For what reason? He, he told his wife that it was an air purifier. Oh, oh and fuck she that figured guy. out that it wasn't. <laughs> Did she try to put chicken in it or what? <laughs> no, just like an air, like an air filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's, oh, wait, yeah, I, I was thinking air fryer. I don't no, know why. Air purifier. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that chicken thing made no sense to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this guy's fucking either retarded or, <laughs> or he doesn't know what an air purifier is. <laughs> He didn't think highly of his wife for sure to think she was dumb enough to fall for that. But yeah, yeah, no, but that's stupid. Why would you? I mean, I would just divorce her. I don't. I'm not gonna sell my PS5. But yeah, but you know stupid. what? A PS5 versus half of your shit. You don't get this PS5. after five months. So, <laughs> oh come on. Well, this <laughs> well, was also you don't have any yeah. shit. This was also in Taiwan. Who knows how they yeah. do it there? Not true. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the idea of marriage. It, well, I mean, no one does, but still, you just have to like be like, you have to be like, all right. So, is she worth half? <laughs> essentially, essentially. Are you saying this with your girlfriend in the room? Yeah, I love. She's gonna fuck she him in the ass for it later. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> may as well make it worth it. Yeah, I would talk shit. Trying, I, that I, too. I want. I, I, the main goal is for her to get to get get her to hate fuck me because i've never Jeez. experienced that all right wow. yeah, sorry uh well you're you know, uh you're I'm young apologize for it. <laughs> no yeah you're young still you have yeah. you have some time yeah yeah we're having fun <laughs> we're eating pizza watching rule paul there's nothing better than this man dude she got me this dude look at this it's a oh, it's, no, a it's little, toadstool little, yeah but it's a plus <laughs> Like one of those soft that dude for you to bite into while she's hate fucking you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's a real mushroom, and then I start experiencing other things. <laughs> It'll absorb your tears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I found God while getting pegged. That's basically. <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious. Um did did you meet her through the comedy scene or anything? Um, I, there's a, there's a open mic over the only open mic that really matters in the 209. I mean, there's other open mics that try, like they, it's, it's, they're dope open mics. They're, the comics there that are working to like to get the open mic scene are trying their hardest and they're, and they're good enough mics to like try and flesh out new stuff, but it's mostly just comics in the audience, which I'm not, I mean, I don't hate it, but I also don't want to do that every fucking a couple days or whatever but there's one open mic called the queen bean which it's it's a pretty dope because you get like kind of like a widespread of like uh it's a widespread of young people so like it's just all the young people that are like in the art scene so it's like singers poets um and i mean and then it would be me and then like aj and taylor doing it because we're pretty much the only comics that go and 
that are over here that still might, you know. <clears throat> um, but uh, she's a she's a singer, and I met her at that. Um, I met her at the at the mic. Nice. Yeah. So I mean, kind of through comedy, but I mean, yeah. I think that's like yeah, the mic. That's like the mic Rob used to go to, where it's just like a a uh, hodgepodge of different comers. types. Yeah. The one with the old yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, oh, went yeah. to a mic, and they I was told that they were going to be like forties or fifties, but the youngest person yeah. there was like sixty five. Hell yeah! And it was uh, it was interesting. Yeah, I did. I did that. Uh, like at one point, because that's where I started. Is at that mic. That's where. I, uh, like that's the first time I ever did stand up was there, and uh, it was cool because it was all it was all ages, but it would mostly be like because the comedy doesn't really start until like around eight and stuff like that. So kids are usually in bed because it's it's on Sunday nights. So then they would either have like school in the morning or whatever. And then at one point they started putting comedy up earlier and they'd be like, Oh, you need your material to be clean. That like, that was like the huge thing. And then we were all pissed about it, but then also it's, it's a good tool to have to do, be able to do clean stuff, but I don't do anything clean. Like I, I, I'm trash. I don't know how to, I don't know how to write. I'm a fucking hack. I don't know what to do in my life, but I, we, we tried to uh, do clean stuff and then I broke and there was like at least 10 toddlers in the crowd which it was a big crowd, but it was like, there was like toddlers running around and I was bombing so hard on doing clean stuff. I was bombing, I was bombing, I was bombing. And then I just did a, a joke about pedophiles and then everyone laughed. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's, I don't know what to do. Cause you're telling me to do clean stuff, but then the pedophile thing kills and there, I, I don't. Are, are these your kids? You know, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, the audience isn't the one telling you to do clean stuff. It's exactly the that's the, the show, most. So yeah, that's the most annoying thing because they don't. They don't know. As they long as you know. don't specify a specific kid when you're doing pedophile material, you should be good. Yeah, I just, I just pointed the crowd. This one's hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, turn around. Yeah. Oh, you got a butterface. Now nah, get him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back to your Pokemon. I like how in this scenario, all the kids are looking the opposite ways. <laughs> <laughs> I was just yeah. not paying attention to the comic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. But yeah. But uh So I wanna Mike man, that sucks. Do you are you doing outside shows out there or no? Yeah, yeah, kinda. Um I haven't done a Zoom show in a while, but I like the Zoom shows only because like we would run our own. So all the profits would just go into our pockets and then like everyone that bought tickets from us just wanted to see comedy. So like it wasn't, it wasn't just like some dude walked into an open mic and was like, "Well, oh, shit, comedy's there. Like I could do this shit. This guy sucks. I'm gonna fucking stab him," you know. But like these ones were pretty cool. But I haven't done that in a minute. I've been doing a lot of um, outside stuff. Okay. By the way, you can you can take a bite of your pizza. Nah, it's <laughs> I just don't want to get cold. in cold on you. All right, all right. I'll take a bite just for you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's sexy cool oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the tangents podcast with spencer sellens tangents is a new comedy podcast hosted by stand-up comedian spencer sellens each episode features himself and other comics going on absurd and hilarious tangents together we actually had spencer on the gag on this podcast um <laughs> yeah he was hilarious if you don't know it uh i believe it's episode 94 Definitely go listen to it. We actually have shared a bunch of guests. David Thorne's been on it. Buddy Dean, Parker Newman, Luke Soyne, Josh Means, Maddie Nishimi, nice. Kevin Heisinger. The list goes on and on. He's getting great guests, so make sure you check it out. Check it. Rob, are you going to say anything? I am so sorry. I am. Uh... I'm your favorite lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's my hype man, bitch? <laughs> Check out Tangents with Spencer Sellins whenever you get your podcast and mention the gag on this sent you. Now, I have not checked this out with him, but I say if we get 10 people to say gag on this sent us to you, he will give us a prostate exam on his next show. Yeah. And Spencer, just so you know, Rob and I are allergic to KY, so you better get that saliva factory going, buddy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. You got to do what you got to do for your show. <laughs> Sharon's just shaking his head. 
So yeah, make sure you check it out. We will have uh, the link to his show within our show notes. So make sure you follow him. There'll be a link tree, but also go to Instagram, follow it. The Tangents Pod. T-H-E-T-A-N-G-E-N-T-S-P-O-D. All right, let's get back into it. Now ask some questions. Well, <laughs> I do have I do have a question for you. Um, What's up? I came across a Submerge article with you and Parker. <laughs> yeah. How did that come about, man? Oh, fucking no, dude. I fucking peaked way too early. Um, <laughs> what was the article? I, um, no, literally, we didn't. We didn't. Mi- okay, I don't want to say this about Parker. I feel because Parker's hilarious and he was always very funny. But I'm pretty sure, like, the reason we both got on the cover was because we were under 21. Because we both started comedy before. I think I started when I was either 19 or 20. I think so. I wasn't allowed in bars and like bar shows and bar open mics. So what we would have to do, and then that the whole article was just about that. Like, oh, what's it like being an under twenty one uh, uh, aspiring comedian? And that's what that's what that that's what that was. I mean, Did back he? then I was like, I fucking made it. I'm gonna ne- go, not go to school anymore, drop out, and <laughs> fuck my parents, you know. But uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now, you're, now you're living with your grandmother. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you, mama. Moving out, grandma. What's popping? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got to say, uh, the the photo of you two was very, uh, very (laughs) weird. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, it sucked. Um, Not to say gays don't suck. I'm watching RuPaul and I love the guy. Um, But yeah, no, the guy who took the pictures, not only like, that was insane. I can't believe I'm talking about this three years later. Um, (laughs) But um, the guy who was taking the pictures, he, he like took it. You know, Robert Barry. Yeah. Okay, so he's the one who was writing articles for Submerge, and he did the entertain or like the the art art portion or or some portion about like uh, the community art scene or something like that. And he got the the article, and so he sets us up with this guy to take our pictures, and he's doing a photo shoot. And I'm driving around Sac, just being like, I fucking, I fucking made it, dude. I'm, oh, and then I'm like going through like a nice part of Sac, and I'm like, oh, this is where fucking taking the pictures, dude. This is fucking sick, dude. I'm fucking out here. Uh, only been doing comedy for however long it's fucking sick and then uh and then like it says like the wrong destination i end up having to take like the back roads and then we end up in this weird fucking like uh garage of like uh like a pick and pool <laughs> <laughs> and then me and parker are like is this is this the place and then he's like yeah it's the same address i got and it's just some weird dude who looks like he lives at his grandma's house and like he um the guy is probably a nice guy. I haven't. T- I don't. I don't I have Are you no talking about Robert Barry or the photographer? No, no, not Robert Barry. The guy who's taking the photos. Okay, got it. Yeah, like the, the photographer, and uh, he just tells us to get in these weird positions. There's like, there's one picture. <laughs> yeah. Did he yeah, ask then he, you to then, tickle yeah. him or anything? Yeah, yeah, and then we and then we touched him. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he said he had candy. I didn't know. Uh, but he uh, basically. <laughs> he um like he would he would be like oh do like a stepbrothers thing which that was like gold that picture was gold i don't know why he didn't use that one but um he he just took a picture of us side by side and like it was such an unflattering position for me like i did not look i look like a like a like a like a who from whoville from like the grinch that's kind of what i look like in the picture it was gross yeah, but and you're parker, with parker so you're okay yeah <laughs> yeah parker looked better than me that's the oh. that's the thing that makes me want to kill myself and <laughs> in the second the set this i love parker to death he's he's one of he's my great. best friends but he uh he did um and then we took another picture where i'm like choking him but like i have like a like a uh, oh yeah here we go pull it up oh. i'm like choking i'm choking him but he told me to have like a really big smile on my face and i was like all right, it's just, it just it just doesn't make any sense, man. It it doesn't. Yeah, let's see. It just go to image. It's oh god, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, that one right there. Oh, oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I you did. So... I remember Parker. But yeah, I don't get it either. I don't you, understand it. You look like you should be in an Ovaltine commercial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or like a uh, like this is what happens when you have sex with dudes commercial. <laughs> Just the yeah. the weird thing is like 
this right here your face yeah, just like looking it. up hit, that's... like a like a like it's a weird teletubby sun thing going on yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that was like the old 80s uh the school portraits were like that in the 80s yeah 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 <laughs> what the they should have done is just above. is just taking pictures of us pegging each other is that that would have been a better picture <laughs> i don't think that's pegging when it's a cock Oh, no, baby. I had to put a strap on on. It wasn't big enough for Parks. Parks likes them big. But shout no, out but, to Parker. Um, he's he's yeah. losing a decent amount of weight, man. Yeah, dude. He's he's looking good. He is. Hopefully I it's... I would. <laughs> you would lose weight? No, no. Bang him. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like it was... It, if I were to say I would lose weight, that would have been rude as fuck if I... <laughs> that's what i thought you said i thought you were no, like yeah, if, if i was if parker I, i'd lose weight uh, yeah yeah i'd definitely do that no no he you know he's looking real sexy nowadays though and my girlfriend's giving me the stink eye we're having fun Uh-oh. Uh, no no i'm just kidding <laughs> she does not give a shit about what's happening right now she just cares about rupaul she just wants to make sure she's the first one in there oh yeah absolutely. <laughs> she's it's like mine. Un- unclaimed territory she's gonna put a flag in it and just kind of poke <laughs> out of my asshole. So are you are you of the mind that RuPaul looks way better as a woman than as a man? Yeah, I, guess, I mean, I think I think. Wait, is what are his pronouns? Who's? RuPaul's in drag. It's she only in drag. It's she in drag. Okay, well, I think she looks good when she's she, her, mm-hmm. and I think he looks good when he's him. He looks like a weird alien, man. He's old. I think he looks, I mean, he looks like, yeah, but like almost like he has hella wisdom, that type of alien. <laughs> like, like there's aliens that look like weird and you're like kind of freaked out. But this one, you're like, go ahead and tell me what's up. Like, what is it? <laughs> Teach you about what? time travel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who do you yeah, think was the, uh, the top in the relationship between RuPaul and Dennis Rodman? Whoa, they were together. That's tough. I, bet I don't know. Tips. I think they're both tops, and they just touch tips like this. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. That's crazy. That's a that's a good. How question. old do you think RuPaul is? I gotta say, I mean, black don't crack, so I'm. I want to say forty, but I'm gonna go fifty. Dude is sixty years old. No way. Born November seventeenth, nineteen sixty. So he looks damn good as a dude or a chick. Good, damn. good for them. Sashay away. Damn. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I just hope, I hope I have I have those good genes. Well, I mean, it's definitely. Yeah, I was going to say it's not the mud part of you. <laughs> damn. Yeah, fair, fair enough. No, no, no. I said it. It's all good. Yeah, I was just quoting him, Rob. Don't, don't give me shit. Well, usually it's the mud parts that do better when they're older. That is true. Mud masks, they help your skin. <laughs> See? Oh, wait, shit. Did I say a black face? Okay, no. 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 Right. You said a mud <laughs> mask. Thought, okay, all right, cool. All right. No, but you see like old Irish folk. You know, like look at Robert Redford. He looks like a ball sack. I mean. Yeah, Robert Redford's pretty <laughs> fucking disgusting. But he was dreamy for who, a long who time. Else, who else? Hey, what is Colin Farrell? Is he Irish? Yes. No. Yeah, he's Irish. Is he? Or is that he Scottish? Guy's sexy. No, he's Irish. That guy's sexy. He's sick. Okay. No, you don't think, <laughs> dude? You ever seen? You ever seen? Uh, you ever seen Fright Night? No. Oh, I'm an old dude, guy with a so, kid, man. What do you want? <laughs> that's all right. You could go out and watch movies. Not nowadays. It's an old. It's an older film. Not an older film. Early two thousands, I think. But it's pretty good. He licks his dude. He licks his hand after, after. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> I just immediately my boner is gone because I saw myself in Parker. <laughs> I mean, look at that, Rob. Yeah, dude, look at that guy. Hey, he's a good looking dude. I didn't say he was. Dude, and like, also okay. look at that. Look at that. He's gonna play Penguin in the next Batman film. And look at that. It's on the uh, the the right, the, the right, right in the middle. Yeah, that's, right here. That's calling. No, oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, but he does look like Penguin. Up more. Up one more. Just move your mouse up. I, my right. mouse is moving up. Go right. Go right. It's right. on the very right of the Down. second row. Down He's there. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. As penguin. No that's way. Insane. I swear. Yeah, it's badass. This podcast why, just turns into us nerding out about <laughs> Colin Farrell. Well, that's why I didn't. I didn't 
think that uh, the reason I was like, where's the picture is because, yeah, that is not the penguin I am used to. Yeah. Oh, you want the Danny just Devito? In... Yeah, that was pretty sick. Or, or, you know, Burgess Meredith. I'll go for him. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's, he, I, I liked him in, um, what was the new Guy Ritchie film that he did? Fuck. He did a new Guy Ritchie film and he was, he's definitely. Oh, the gentleman. The gentleman. There you go. Yeah, yeah he's pretty it, was pretty it was pretty good. Rob, who's yours? Let's look at who's a man that you're just like, that's that's good looking. Oh, fuck. I mean, there's a buddy. There's one right there. I mean, but, you know, I think Brad Pitt was a hot dude back dude. in the day. Then he became like dude. a baby. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I've been trying to tell my girlfriend that Brad Pitt is so hot for so long, and she says he's not. And she thinks no, this there. is. She thinks this is. That's no, no, oh, yeah. no. No, she's just no trying way. to preserve your feelings. She flicks the bean to Brad all I think the time, I'm that's, sure. I, I would, too. <laughs> right. Like Brad Pitt, like at uh, Fight Club time. Not, e- not even, like, even now, though. Uh, like, sure, he's, he's not still bad. Good. I just lost respect for him when he, when he became a mother, you know, a babysitter. A babysitter? What do you mean? Wait, yeah, what did, Angelina when you... Jolie and had, like, nine kids. And... Ah, who, cares? who wouldn't adopt nine kids when you're married to her? I wouldn't. But, All right, fair enough. Uh, or <laughs> even him and uh, go back to Snatch. <laughs> Brad oh, Brad yeah. Snatch. I don't know if you want to. We just that. watched Snatch. Oh, that's the best movie ever. Um, yeah, it's sick, dude. We just watched that. He's such a badass, and he doesn't yeah. know how to speak. He's like, I don't know how to care. Oh, those are the, did you ever, did you do the uh, subtitles for him? No, I, I wanted, oh, it, those I are wanted the to best. experience it. No, you I, experience I, it, but you can do the yeah. subtitles for just him. I did just him what yeah it's that? called it's called pikey yeah and uh it only comes up when he talks that's and fucking it's sick. great because okay. there's parts of it where it's just question marks Is yeah, he- I just, I- <laughs> <laughs> oh that's sick oh that's badass like we don't even know what the fuck he's saying here but <laughs> that's badass that's hey, so we good blue boys <laughs> but oh, i fucking love that movie so yeah i so i jumped the fence for brad yeah brad is great See the one. Once upon a time. That's the one movie I haven't seen yet. I'm waiting what, for Snatch? it. To, no, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm waiting oh. for it to come out to where I can rent and like not rent it, but like where it's free or something. Sure. And they just don't want to push it for free, man. Is it good? Have you seen it, Marcus? Yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought it was badass. I mean, it's I a little long. It. It's a little. It's a little long and slow, but it's good. Well, how slow is slow? Uh, they could have chunked. They could have cut off like at least 30, 30, 40 minutes out of it, and still make it like just as like it, probably even better. Now, one thing I heard, um, and I'm not spoiling it for anybody, but I heard, like a lot. The way it was portrayed to me in the beginning was like, oh, it's about the Manson family, but apparently the Manson family is not that big of a thing in it. Yeah, nah. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's the same thing as like. And in Glorious Bastards, you think the whole thing's about Hitler, but it's not really about Hitler. It's about like, I mean, Hitler's not a huge man. part of it. It's it's about the Nazis. So like, this is more of like the scene of like the time when uh, Shannon Tate was like alive and the actors in that area and stuff. Uh, in Glorious Bastards was a fucking letdown. I'm sorry, I don't care about this bitch's theater. Like, oh <laughs> damn! All right. I liked it. I, I'm just a I'm a Quentin Tarantino queer though, so I get it. But fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, and and Kill Bill. I'm just kidding. I was like, never saw it. Pulp Fiction yes. is his. Pulp. Pulp Fiction is his best, and then Reservoir Dogs second. I'd say Reservoir Dogs is better. I like Django. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that I remember good. watching yeah. that thinking, "Oh, this isn't as bloody as your typical Tarantino film." And then it happened, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." yeah. Back. That's the same thing for Once Upon a Time. Uh, excuse me. Wait, have that's you seen it. it? I have not seen Once Upon a Time. Oh, damn it! So I'm, I'm stabbing you guys in the dark here. Now nah, we're good. Yeah. Stabbing me in the dark, huh? <laughs> Oh, wink, wink. <laughs> he doesn't want to see your bald, pimply ass. Oh, yeah. 
No, my girlfriend likes popping zits, so she'll pop uh, a zit no matter where it is. Uh, your girlfriend likes popping zits, dude? Or my, my wife. Sorry, my wife. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, my wife. Uh, yeah, she. <laughs> this is love right here. All right, Marcus. Wait till, <laughs> wait till you get to this level. I had a okay. boil right under, like on my thigh, <laughs> right by my balls. Nice. And I told her about it, and she was like, you got to let me pop it. So here I am uh, on my couch. I got one leg just like up and then she's like, she literally went like this with my balls. Like they're resting right here. And then she's just starting to pop. That's love. Hell yeah. That, that seems like love. I can't remember. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of something gross. Well, have you heard the Robert Kelly bit about how his legs were chafed, like his thighs and his wife, like, flipped him up like a baby and was powdering his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she just has his look like, oh. That's, that's great. Love. That's love. That's hilarious. Yeah, that is love. I'm trying to think. Uh, no, I don't have any gross. I just, I've, I've had embarrassing where, like, I get sloppy drunk and then she has to, like, help me be a human for, like, an hour. And then I pass out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's not, it wasn't a good, I shouldn't have even said anything because it bombed harder than than if I were to say something gross <laughs> that was non-existent when you meet someone just think would I be able to wipe this oh wait hold on years? I do wait she just reminded I me I was about to say she I just did. told you didn't she <laughs> <laughs> she said okay yeah go close the door please All right. so okay there's one time okay so this is gonna time, be good uh well I mean ah, if you gotta close let's, the door let's, let's let's just take the expectations and drop them a little bit i've said this on a podcast before but no one pays attention to me so i i, I can tell it on yours as well but uh uh one time were we at taylor's we were at taylor's house mm -hmm. we were at taylor's house and we were getting hammered very hammered and taylor goes fucking hard like after you're done he'll triple what we've already done so like I'm getting hammered and then, but I'm trying my hardest to stay awake because I, I promised her I was going to stay awake and like, we were going to hang out and watch shit. So then we get home, I'm sleeping in the car and then we get home and then uh, we're in my room. And then um, in my head, I was like, it's time to fuck. So then we're like, <laughs> we're getting ready. And then I, I get butt ass naked and she's not naked. I'm butt ass naked. And then, so I, no socks. I'm talking full. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready to make love is what I was going to do. And so I go and then like, you know, I got to spice it up a little bit. This is going to get a little crass, but, uh, try to spice it up. You know, I'm going, I'm, 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 I'm getting all the, all the, 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 the corners, the, the crevices, the hooks, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the sweat I'm getting into it. I start going down on her. And then, uh, and then I'm, I'm like going at it and then all of a sudden, okay. So, okay. I'm trying to picture, I don't want to do what I did, but I'll tell you what I did. And we'll, hopefully we can get a good image of what I look like. So I'm like, okay. So my, I'm, my knees are on the bed. My knees are on the bed. And then I'm like going in, like I'm doing a push up almost <laughs> with my knees. Like if I need, you know what I mean? Yeah. You'd be doing a push up with your knees. So I'm doing that. But then the bottom half of my body is like down in, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh yeah, okay. we're picking up what you're putting Just, down. I look like a triangle, you know, and my and my ass is up. Okay, so then I'm eating her out, and then, um, uh, and then uh, I fall asleep, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and, and but like, but my ass is still up, and I'm snoring, so I'm like ass up, snoring, <laughs> and she, butt ass naked. I farted. <laughs> not a good smell. Not a good smell. Actually, don't remember if it was a good smell because I was sleeping like a little baby. But what she had to do was get me up, get my pants on, and then and then I guess go to sleep. I don't know. Jerk off. I don't know what she was going to – I don't know what she did. She didn't tell me, but I had to get laying into bed. And so I think that's love. I think that's love is that, you know what, she didn't dump me for that. That's not love. That's okay. settling, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair. 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 No don't let me do talk that. to her i'll have her walking out on you quick <laughs> she, he said that's not love that's settling <laughs> yeah hey you know what i did pretty good for myself i filled in sounds like it like i but 
I've heard stories of people falling asleep, but I've never officially like met someone where that actually happened. <laughs> no, listen, I ne- I've it's crazy because like not only not even a week earlier, I remember us all making fun about uh, of a dude that we heard about like doing that. <laughs> And then I was like, that's so fucking stupid, bro. I'd never fucking do that shit, bro. <laughs> and then I, and then, and then, yeah, just, you know what? Yeah. Wait till you turn 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My finger was still in there. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ever, you ever get, you ever, you, your finger ever go limp? You guys ever do <laughs> that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but just your description of it, and then you were like, and my ass was up, and then apparently I farted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think she's already taken the, the the pegging to her to her thing. I think I I, I woke up kind of sore, so nah, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? By the way, I I did lower my expectations, and and you exceeded Good. them. Cool. Good. I always love when. I hate when people over exaggerate. Like, I I would always want to undersell, no matter what. I feel like that's like a rule. Oh, now it's never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna get into that because then it's gonna get real. I don't want to. I don't care. <laughs> of course you. <laughs> no, do. just like always, always. I do care, but I don't. I don't want to get serious. But you should always undersell. You should never over overdo it. No matter what it is. That's like me. Right. When, <laughs> whenever I promise over deliver. Yeah. There you go. It's a business. But then it's not over delivering. You're just a jet, your standard. You're like stock, yeah. but you're but doing you greater than. Them, yeah. That's why I was I'm a, I'm a, I have I'm a two a, yeah. inch dick. Exactly. Then, exactly. Oh, that's, that's real. So, that's, that's real. Like twice the yeah. size. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. Tell her you're a 97 Honda Civic. Come back with an 07 Acura. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they'll be grateful. They're like, wait, you guys. You, yeah, you don't have a cassette player? That's fucking dope. <laughs> Fuck, we're married. Six They're stuck with us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 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 in for the long haul now. When'd you get married? Um, I got married October twenty sixth. But I've been with um of this year? Yeah. yeah. But well, congrats. This well, this is usually where people go like, what the fuck? We were we've been together for ten years and get engaged for eight, and then we finally got married. <laughs> I get it. My parent, my parents did the same thing. They're still not married. Really? They, uh, they, they met, they met when I was nine. And then he uh-huh. knocked her up, and then he was like, "Fuck, I gotta get my master's degree." And then that's it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah. so cute. <laughs> yeah. What a what a what a love story. <laughs> what Juno? Who? Yeah. Oh, I saw a, a joke the other day since, um, Rob, do you know about, uh, L is it L page? Yeah. That was the picture you sent me, wasn't it? It's Elliot page now. Dude. Yeah, Elliot now. It was. Yeah, I think, Elliot. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Elliot page. Well, it was just funny. Cause, uh, one person was just like, well, she's a man and she likes women. So she's straight and which means she's a straight white male. And somebody was like, imagine going to bed as a feminist and then waking up and you're the problem with society. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's funny. That's really funny, man. Uh, Rob, do you have anything to ask for him? Otherwise we'll get to our ultra popular thing. Go for it. Ooh. All right. Um, so Rob, you're going to have to be for Danny. You know, I know, I know. Um, so, uh, have you listened to the podcast before, sir? Uh, this is not because I don't care, but I do not listen to a lot of podcasts at all, really. So I, I don't, I'm sorry. We're not offended. Yeah, not at all. I would be offended. <laughs> no, you're not because I have to. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, so we do this ultra popular thing called Inside the Comic Studio. Brilliant. Yes. Ooh. Uh, before we get into it, though, Marcus, plug your social media, plug anything you got going on, really. Um, uh, my social media, my Twitter handle is Bubba Marks. So is my Instagram. Uh, it's both spelled the same way, B-U-B-B-A-M-A-R-X. And that's uh, everyone always says, like, is that because of, like, the Marks? Uh, what's that guy's name? The guy, the 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 social, isn't that a socialist? What is he? Uh, 
Oh, the Marx test. Marks? Yeah, no, I thought like that would have been a way smarter way to do it, but I did it because of Bubba Sparks, the booty, 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 rocking everywhere guy. I thought that was funny. <laughs> uh, but then That's I had this girl. Story. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but no, I, I, I'm not smart enough because I couldn't like a, a develop a conversation off that. This girl on Hot Topic was like, "Oh, is that because of uh, the Marxist?" And I was like. No, it's because of this ass song I heard. Um, but <laughs> and then uh, honestly, there's nothing really I can put. I mean, tomorrow, uh, Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be in Fresno doing shows. Um, other than that, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have anything. I'm going to be leaving the state, so I'm going to be good for a minute. Don't have any bookings. Other than that, follow my Instagram. Uh, follow my Twitter. That's it. All right, and now. Sharon has decided to show up, apparently. <laughs> Good thing we didn't nice. fucking wait for him. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, what do you got? <clears throat> uh, get my side project. The Stand Up Dads, pod- Stand Up Dads podcast comes out every Sunday. We just had our 100th episode with Keith Old Jensen. Check that out. Uh, find it wherever your finer podcasts are sold. Nice. And... Um, Sharon will be, I'll, I'll just plug my Twitter at the big Nick J. We are having a gay old time over there. It is fun. I'm getting in fights with both Democrats and Republicans. It's fun times. Nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, not, not so nice. They're not saying very nice things. (laughs) (laughs) If you can imagine, yeah. If you can imagine social media, people being mean, no, (laughs) You think anonymous <laughs> just saying whatever they want? I know. Uh, Sharon, what How do you, you first of all? Hello, Sharon, Sharon, Marcus, Marcus, Sharon. What's going on? Man? Howdy, How you how's doing? it going? Uh, Very good. How are you? <laughs> so, plug your stuff, buddy. Uh, you can find me on uh, I Am Big Poetry Podcast where we do, um, Right now we're doing all real um, poetry, which is movies. We had done Brother Where Art Thou, where we had guest star Nick um, be on it. So why don't you go check that out? It's I Am Big Poetry Podcast on all streaming services. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> I got a... Um, Nick, oh, yeah. what? No, it was, it, it was about... Um, home, uh, oh, Brother Where Art Thou was based on Homer's Odyssey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we just talked about that. I'm just yeah, you guys are making you guys are making no sense to me right now. It's crazy. What are you <laughs> what, what are you talking about? He was I don't even when know. that movie came out. I know I know it's by the Cohen brothers. I like I like them. I like Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we talked about it and I, I offended his co host because I oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> I don't like the Cohen brothers very much. <laughs> oh really? You don't like No Country for Old Men, dude? Tommy Lee Jones without a unibrow? It's fucking dope. <laughs> I liked I liked Tommy Lee Jones and Man of the House. That was that was my jam. Uh, I'll fucking kill myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just a well, bunch of hot girls and then Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, fucking right. What is this? The Playboy House? <laughs> oh, I loved it. Oh, it was great. Um, okay, so for Inside the Comic Studio, we ask all comedians the same five questions. So, first question is first joke that landed well. Oh. No, um, I had this really hacked joke that I did. I mean, I still do it. No, I don't. Um, I still am a hack though. Um, I do this joke. Uh, I do. I just say the joke. I feel like I'm like dance monkey dance right now. You could do the um, just the premise. We've had people just say it was a joke about this. But uh, I'm just gonna say it just because of I, I want to acknowledge how bad it is. But basically, <laughs> the joke is is that would be like, oh, um, uh, I got in a divorce recently um, because my wife had been lying to me. Um, she said she was gonna go hang out with friends, but she actually killed herself. So instead of texting her back, I just left her hanging. Uh. I know you don't think I know. I, I fucking love that joke. <laughs> no, I'm a fucking trash comedian. I should quit. <laughs> it, no, yeah, that was the that was the that was the first joke I, that ever like actually landed, and it and it was and believe it or not, my closer for a while. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah, it was pretty bad, man. Yeah, I I'm not proud of it. Grief. No, I I I don't want you to. <laughs> no, I've, yeah. I've got worse than that, yeah. so yeah. you're good. No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, no, uh, no, I would, I would, I would want you to give me grief. My bad. I meant to do the opposite. No. I, I want, I want you to call me a hack and to kick me in the nuts. <laughs> Dude, Tommy oh. Tiny died. The guy from Friday, he died. Who's Tommy Tiny? You talking about uh, Tiny Lister? Yeah, dude, he died today. Tiny Lister died. I just got the new, I just I just got the news right now. My girlfriend just showed me. She said, "Look at this," and I said, "Fuck the podcast." Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? That's fucking insane. He dies at sixty-two. Oh, Holy Debo? shit! Yeah. yeah, Debo. Oh fuck, that's sad. Oh, well, fuck you, then, punk. That's dude. He's <laughs> fucking sick. He's oh, not on that's our, tough. Uh, Deadpool. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. Just, you, you go to your fucking your your browser. It's just Brad Pert, Pert shirtless, <laughs> 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 and then and then I'm instantly happy again. It doesn't it doesn't even matter that he's dead. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's it's tough, tough, man. It sucks. Yeah, one hour his, ago. Holy home. shit, yeah. that's sad. Damn. Oh, that's it wasn't on my that's list. A legend. <laughs> that guy's a that guy's a legend, man. Uh, yeah, man. Why can't he? Uh, why couldn't we pick people that died, Sharon? <laughs> you didn't research like I did, damn it. Uh, you guess, right. <laughs> there is no um, word yet on cause of death. Yeah. They say they found him unconscious. That Jesus. Sucks. Dude, it's just it's just it's ice cube with a knife. He's like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Ice Cube is going off the deep end, dude. I don't know what Yeah the- man. What isn't he a Trump guy now or something? No. No, he's not. That's what I've heard. I've only seen like the memes on Twitter and shit. I wasn't sure exactly what he was doing or whatever. Now, now, little Wayne, yeah, he's drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, Lil Wayne, Lil Pump, they're both out of their prime. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Um, second question. Uh, favorite thing about your local comedy scene? We're better than everyone else, and everyone fucking hates us. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone fucking hates the 209. Everyone has a stigma towards the 209. Fuck you guys. You guys all suck. I hate you. But I also love this podcast, and I also love the sex scene. I love every other scene. I love SF. I love all that. I'm from the 209. Stockton. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. We all we 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 fucking gang gang, dude. Fuck gang gang. Uh, I think 209 is always underlooked, and it fucking sucks sometimes. We. Luckily, we actually do have some really good talent. Not me, but we have actual talent that is really good. And I'm glad that I grew up in this scene because I don't think that I would be the comic that I am now where I could have been worse if it wasn't for me uh, being in this scene and everyone helping me and everyone being fucking hilarious and actually being fucking nice. You can be nice and talented at the same time, guys. I didn't know if you guys knew that, but you can do that. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm I'm not from the 209. So please enlighten me. What the hell is gang gang? It means nothing. I just wanted to oh, seem cool for a second. <laughs> oh well, you you seem cool to me. I was like, I'm missing the Say, joke. <laughs> I want everyone to I want everyone to fear it. I want everyone to respect it. But I don't think I should be the face of it because we will not get either of those if that is the case. <laughs> Especially after this podcast, we're talking about all the dudes that are hot. <laughs> yeah, puppy, you'd be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me, me, me talking about me being pegged is probably not the demographic that 209 is going for, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You, you um, get your la- yeah. Good. Uh, next question. Uh, something you dislike and would like to see changed in the local scene. And in, in my, lo- in 209, um, yeah. I would like to see more comics. I'd like to see more young comics. It's, it really sucks being the youngest guy and I'm 23. That's pretty sad. I feel, you know what? I, I like, that. I like, I want to, I like, what's up. Enjoy that because I just recently I'm starting up a new job and re- when I was a kid, I was always the young kid starting stuff and it was, you know, they always like uh, admired that and all that shit and you could get away with fucking murder. Now I'm the old guy. Um, and <laughs> it, yeah. It's like, no one's like impressed by anything. So yeah, you showed up, fucking get to work, do your thing. So just <laughs> embrace yeah, it while you, you got it. Cause you're not going to have it for long. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware of that. And I know that, but it's just like, it's like being stuck at 10 years old for five years straight. You know what I mean? Like, it's mm-hmm. like, like, it, no, I mean, yeah, it's cool, but I also don't want to be treated like, uh, like a little baby, you know, <laughs> like everyone, everyone in my scene is like either they try comedy for a week or two and they're like, all right, I'm, it's over. It's off my bucket list or they're a fucking 10 year plus vet. There's no, in, I'm the in between. I'm <laughs> there. Like, but all those 10 year vets were right where you are right now at one point too. 
fair, but they also had comics constantly coming in the scene and like actually either sticking around or just dying off eventually. I would rather have <laughs> comics come and then die off eventually, at least having a scene that wants to get the comedy scene in this in in the 209 to develop instead of instead of like <clears throat> not instead of but just I just want to frequent like this guy Eric Powers he's a new comic uh, or a newer comic and he's he's putting on shows all the time and that's what I want I want to see more of that I want to see more comics putting in the uh, putting in like just being like hey yo we got stage time we got open mics we got shows we got paid shows we got people in Modesto and Stockton Turlock all coming around being like, oh, we can actually get real talent and real money's worth of comedy in, in our scene, not having to travel and going all these other places. Or you get a porn that's, name that's, like that's Eric what Powers. I Jesus. Yeah, dude, he's pretty <laughs> fucking hot. Nah, I wouldn't say he's hot, no, but he's cool. It just sounds like a porn name. Eric <laughs> Powers. <laughs> all right, uh, um, there's a couple. No. No, go for it. No, no, there's just a couple powers. There's Scott Powers. Air powers. That, powers two booth. Powers of our. Hello. Powers of powers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It uh, just sucks. Yeah, it just sucks that they're both white, so they can't like start a group called White Power. That would just be really weird. <laughs> you, you knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. As I said, I'm a hack. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question is favorite local comedian. Um. White power. I, it, 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 yeah, yeah, white power. Yeah, the best thing about the 209 is that they got white power. No. Um, oh, my God. I, if somebody I, wanted to fuck us up, they would just take these clips no, right here. Like, no, listen to this no. podcast talk about white power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because right now, context is never a thing. That's what sucks. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anthony, Anthony K., he's for sure. I think he's the most talented, and he's the best out of the 209. I look up to him. And if he ever heard me say that, he'd call me a faggot. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, you know. fair enough. I get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not even, not even because of the pegging. The pegging was cool. The other stuff, not cool. <laughs> me, give, me giving him praise and saying I look up to him is what really makes me a, a, a piece of shit, I guess. So. Wow. That no homo just goes right through her. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anthony K is the best comedian ever. No homo. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lastly, no, I, I, I I genuinely think he's really good, and he's probably the best in our scene. Were you there when he accepted the Mo- MoMA award or whatever? The Mo- I don't I don't think he's won a MoMA. I think I don't think. Did. I mean, he might have. He might have. I don't know. I wasn't there though. Yeah, because uh, he won some award because he was on our podcast talking about it, and I guess he got hella oh. drunk and went up and accepted the award and talked about how everyone doesn't know what oh. comedy is. All these people <laughs> suck. This is yeah. stupid, and just proceeded to lambaste the whole award That's show. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I did not hear about I, – I, not that I, I might have heard about it, but I was probably drunk, but, yeah, I, I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know he won one, but that's cool. He, he, I'm glad he did because he's the only comic on the list that actually deserves it most of the time. Nice. All right. Lastly, just, advice to new comedians. Uh, I don't think I have any reason to give <laughs> advice to new comics, but um, for new comics, uh, get up on stage, keep writing. Even when you don't want to fucking write, just do it. You're gonna, you're a piece of shit. You suck at comedy. Please, oh. God, just keep writing. You're trash. I promise you, you're more trash than you think you are. Please keep writing. Please get up on stage. Don't worry about where other people are that are your peers. Just keep going. They don't fucking matter. It's about you. It's about your fucking journey to stand up. It's not about about anybody else's. Who cares about who's funnier than who? Just go up and do your jokes and be the funniest that you could be. Well said. And get pegged. <laughs> yeah. Peg. And if you ever have a photo shoot and a fucking pick and pull, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Why? What happened? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll show you. We talked about it, that. but I'll show you for sure. <laughs> All right, does anybody – oh, by the way, uh, that that we just did was brought to you by uh, Seattle Gummy Company. Gummies, yes. God, I fucking suck oh. at that, Reef. <laughs> uh, they offer a wide array of gummies from energy to CBD to immune. Mocha Shots high-energy gummies work five times faster than coffee, but it is half the price. 
five grams of sugar per gummy. Promo code GAC15, save 15% off your entire order, and that works across all gummies. Uh, does there anybody have anything else before we let him go to his season six yeah. of Drag Race? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah. Oh, no, it's real. He's not making fun of me. It's real. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sharon, it's, it's their five-month anniversary, and this is how Word? she wanted to spend it. So, Okay. Yeah. There she hey. is. Hey, Hi. how you doing? <laughs> Dude, I'm hey, sorry. How are you doing? I'm sorry, but when you showed her, no offense, I just got a visual of you just – in between your legs with your ass up, <laughs> farting. Yep. yep. Yeah. Wow. And my, my, and my limp finger still inside. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 The- there's, there's context to it, I promise. You. I, I can see that. Now I got to listen. Yeah. Now I got to listen to the podcast. Sh- Sharon's just like, wow, they're really disrespecting his girlfriend. This is fucking rude. Literally. Uh, no, yeah. no. I, 209 yeah. defined. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, if nobody has anything else, we will let you go, sir. Thank you. Man. All right. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Take care, Marcus. Thank you guys yeah, for coming on. Good one, guys. Hello. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm.